In order to upgrade and engineer your suits and equipment in Elite Dangerous Odyssey you're gonna need to gather a lot of materials. In this video I'm gonna go over the method I use to gather those materials and I'll also give you some useful tips on making your material gathering journey smoother. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and if you'd like to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. First up I'm going to recommend that if you don't have one already you build yourself a dedicated Odyssey on foot mission running ship. The choice and build of the ship is entirely up to you but I will give you my ideal criteria for the ship. You're going to be parking it in a lot of tight spaces near to settlement buildings and target points of interest. With that in mind I recommend that you get a small class of ship that can easily fit into those spaces. At least one SRV bay is absolutely essential and I'd highly recommend you get yourself a Scorpion SRV to go in it. Scorpions are altogether more stable and much tougher than the venerable Scarab SRV and when things go south and they will occasionally go south the Scorpion has the armour to keep you covered while you make your escape. You can find Scorpion SRVs at the outfitting services in military systems. Whilst extensive engineering of your Odyssey mission ship is not 100% necessary anything you can do to give it more survivability and speed would be a bonus. Your results may vary but my personal favourite is a Cobra Mark III with dirty drives, a 4A prismatic shield and 4 fixed dumbfire missile racks. The drives get me away from trouble really quickly, missile racks are extremely handy for clearing away any pockets of surface resistance particularly from points of interest and the prismatics keep me alive while doing it. All this in a ship with a nice small footprint and still having a jump seat to bring along a friend. For the material gathering itself I'm firstly going to recommend that you're running the Elite Dangerous Odyssey material helper application. If you've not seen that already there's a link on screen now to a video that we made about it already. In my opinion it's an absolutely essential tool for Odyssey material gathering. When you first start out create yourself a goal using the app for example upgrading a suit or weapon by one level and then focus on that task. If you try to upgrade and engineer everything all at once it can seem unwieldy and unachievable. Break the whole journey down into smaller tasks and you'll see almost immediate meaningful progress every single time you sit down to play. Next find yourself a convenient system to operate in. Predominantly anarchy owned and operated systems are best as you'll likely be doing lots of dreadful things that law abiding types won't take kindly to and well anarchy systems just make the whole thing easier and cleaner. Once you have yourself a ship, a system to work out of and a goal set then it's time to turn your eye towards materials. First things first if you have any materials already go to the overview tab in Odyssey materials helper, change the filter at the top to read irrelevant with stock and then check to see if you have any materials that are just taking up space and don't do anything meaningful in the game. If you do let's get rid of them. Your irrelevant mats are not entirely useless. While they can't be used in engineering or upgrades they do have a monetary value attached and they can be sold at the bartender in a surface starport or space station. Just select the items to sell option from the menu when you speak to the bartender. If you're in an anarchy system already this is the best place to clear out any unwanted gear in your inventory as they'll also buy any illegal goods you have. No questions asked. Next while you're at the bartender select the make a trade option and in material helper swap to the wish list you've created for the upgrade or modification you're looking to achieve. Make sure that the required materials hide completed option is unchecked then swap back to the bartender. When trading with a bartender there are three categories on the left of the screen chemicals, circuits and tech. It's important to understand that whilst the trading facility is powerful you can't trade for all materials you need and you can only trade materials in each category for materials that are also in that category. You can't trade between categories. 
Go through each category in turn using your materials helper wishlist as a guide and identify which materials you have too much of or that you just don't need for what you're attempting to achieve. Next find a material that the bartender offers that you're lacking and select it. Doing so will take you to a screen that shows what materials you have that you can trade for the material you're missing. The relative value of each material to the bartender is shown as a blue number. Being careful not to trade away materials that you need add materials to trade to the pool that you're willing to exchange until you reach the required amount of a given material needed on the right hand side of the screen or you run out of materials to trade. Once you're happy confirm the trade. The materials you don't need will be removed and the materials you do need will be added to your inventory. Repeat this process for all three categories. Material Helper will update accordingly immediately to reflect the new shopping list of materials still to be gathered. After you've identified the materials you still need in Material Helper it's time to look for missions to complete that will reward your gameplay with those materials. Run around the starport to all the NPC mission givers and check each mission to see if they are rewarding with the materials you need. If they are and you have a good reputation with their supporting faction you can negotiate for a higher price ...potentially rewarding more of the materials you need. You can increase your reputation with a faction by successfully completing missions for them so it really pays to stick to one system if you can making sure that over time all the factions trust you. Once you've checked the NPC mission givers head to a terminal and open up the mission board. Go to the All tab, select it and then immediately go to the filter on the top of the screen and change it from All Choices to Materials. Doing so will highlight on the missions any materials that are given as a reward from completing these missions. Scroll through the available missions and choose any that have missions that you feel you can complete and that are rewarding materials that you need. Go to as many starports or spaceports in a system that you can and hoover up as many missions as you're able for the time that you have available to complete them. Then just go and complete your missions. If the missions you have chosen bring you to a settlement then it's advisable to consider cleaning out the settlement storage lockers and cupboards of most of their available materials as well. Ignore materials that appear on the Odyssey Material Helper Overview screen under the Irrelevant filter and be sure to pick up any other materials that can be used in any engineering or upgrade process i.e. relevant ones regardless of whether you need them or not. When raiding a settlement for materials be sure to open any unlocked boxes you see as these will almost always contain upgrade and engineering mats. The locked boxes tend only to house illegal goods such as drugs and so can largely be ignored. Likewise unlocked cupboards will be full of useful materials to be looted. Locked cupboards in habitats tend to only have drugs etc but locked cupboards in power stations, command centres and labs or other utility buildings should definitely be investigated. Settlements can span over quite large distances so when you're looting a settlement be sure to keep your SRV close by so that you can empty your backpack into it when it becomes full and then carry on looting. If you select the Manage Inventory button when accessing your SRV's exterior there are options there to transfer everything from your backpack into the SRV or alternatively using the key binding shown on the bottom right of the screen you can switch to discard mode and destroy anything in your backpack that you just don't want such as irrelevant materials. And whilst raiding a settlement be sure to look out for any data access points on consoles and walls as these can provide valuable materials that can't be traded for. Once you've completed your missions and collected the rewards from the supplying starports and NPCs head to the bartender again and start the trade up process that I detailed earlier to get more of the materials you need. There will be occasions where none of the missions available will grant you the mats that you're looking for. In such cases I usually just raid a settlement, take everything there and then return to the starport after to recheck the mission boards and NPCs. 
Using the methods that I've detailed here I found upgrading and engineering suits and weapons in Odyssey very rewarding and fun and I see constant progress in what I'm trying to achieve. If you have any tips or tricks you'd like to share then please be sure to leave a comment below so that others can benefit from them. Thanks very much for watching. If you found this video useful then be sure to subscribe to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.